Hello, everybody. My name is Lilia Posilova, and I work at Mail and Space Science Systems. We design, build, and operate cameras on spacecraft. May I have my first image, please? I oversee operations of CTX, Context, and Marcy, Mars Color Imager, on board of MRO, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spacecraft. In December of last year, a meteoroid struck Mars and created the largest fresh impact crater we have observed in 16 years of MRO mission. May I have my next image, please? When we first saw this image, we were extremely excited. This is, was nothing like we've seen before. It took entire view of the CTX image. It's a 30 kilometers width, and even we needed to take two more images to the, on the sides to capture the entire perturbance area. We do see regularly small craters with CT, in our CTX field of view. And uh, um, how does it do? How do we do it? We acquire CTX images based on our various scientific objectives, and we inspect them for any changes. And typically what we see, it will be like a little smudge. And then we compare to all the available previous new data sets to confirm that it is fresh or not fresh crater. And uh, typically they are on the size of up to 20 feet, uh, small craters and time constraint we can do few years, maybe occasionally down to one year. The perturbance that this impactor created was so large, then we thought maybe we could see it in our other camera view. It's our, may I have my next image, please? It's our low resolution weather camera, but it takes daily global images of Mars. On the right, you see feature that created by this impactor. And to see that strong of a signal in that camera view, it's huge, very rare. We were able to time constrain this impact down to about a day, slightly over 24 hours. And then I recall that Insight reported back in December that they uh, recorded this large seismic event on Christmas Eve. When we compare seismic epicenter with location that we pinpointed from the orbit and the time we were able to match this large seismic event to our large impact crater. This is by far the largest jointly observed crater recorded seismically and observed from the, the image, from the orbit. May I have uh, my next slide, please? As ball light travel through the Mars atmosphere, it creates a muck cone. And as a result of it, you see dust perturb on the left of the crater. A lot happens as the meteoroid strikes Mars. Rock gets fractured. There is atmospheric blast. Ejecta gets thrown out. Crater gets excavated. And effect of that dynamic all got preserved in the Martian surface and we captured it in our CTX image. We see the crater itself at about 150 meter in diameter. We see bright patches of ice. This is most equator word ice we've seen on Mars. The ability to tell what happened when and what activity occurred along with the largest impact crater are two huge discovery and demonstrates the value, increased value that joint work of two mission brings. And I will turn to Ingrid to look at more details of the impact itself. Thanks, Lilia. My name is Ingrid Daubar. I'm on the team for the high-rise camera, which is another camera orbiting Mars on MRO. If I can have the first visual, please. High-rise is a high-resolution color stereo camera that lets us see things as small as a desk on Mars. I also help lead the IMPACTS working group on the InSight mission. HiRISE and CTX have been showing us new craters, as Lilia said, forming on Mars for a while now. So we were hopeful we could detect some of these with the InSight mission. We want to study IMPACTS with InSight because they can tell us not just about the craters themselves and the cratering process, but also about the interior and the atmosphere of Mars. 
Sources with a known location and size can help calibrate all of the other data we've gotten from Insight, all those quakes where we don't know the exact epicenter. After three years of listening, we thought impacts probably have to be either very close to the lander or very large to be detected seismically. We recently found four small impacts close to InSight, but we never thought we'd see anything this big. So we were super excited to hear about this discovery by Lilia and her team and have the chance to study it in more detail with HiRISE. Can I have the next image, please? From this high-rise image, it was immediately clear that this is the biggest new crater we'd ever seen. It's about 500 feet wide, about two city blocks across. And even though meteorites are hitting the planet all the time, this crater is more than 10 times larger than the typical new craters we see forming on Mars. We thought a crater this size might form somewhere on the planet once every few decades, maybe once a generation. So it was very exciting to be able to witness this event. And to be lucky enough to, it happened while InSight was recording seismic data, that was a real scientific gift. For comparison, the Mars quake this crater caused was a magnitude four quake, which on Earth is big enough to be felt, but not big enough to cause a ton of damage. About a thousand or so quakes of this size happen on the Earth every year, but Mars is less tectonically active than the, than the Earth. So for Mars, this was a pretty big one. Can I have the video, please? Most exciting of all, we saw clearly in the high resolution images that a whole lot of water ice had been exposed by this impact. You can see in this flyover video of the 3D data, boulder sized chunks of ice in the crater's ejecta, as well as splotches of ice thrown across the landscape outside the crater. This was surprising because this is the warmest spot on Mars, the closest to the equator we've ever seen water ice. So scientists are going to be able to use this to constrain the past climate conditions on Mars, how, when and how this ice was deposited, buried, and preserved up until now. This is a huge opportunity to study a really large impact event from both the orbit and the ground, a reminder of how privileged we are to have multiple missions studying Mars at the same time. It's been really exciting and fruitful to